NIV subscribes to the National Association of Broadcasters Television Code, aiming at all times to bring viewers quality programming and trustworthy advertising. When do you have the right to a free attorney? Find out by calling Tell Law 962-1000. to Henry Moore Sculpture. The Detroit Institute of Arts offers 101 galleries for your pleasure. Enjoy your visit soon. For an unusual look at this week's major sporting events and some features you really go for, join me, Don Shane, Sunday night at 11.30 on First for Sports, final edition, only on Channel 4. Association. In a recent editorial, this station said, and I quote, the bottle ban has nothing to do with the price of beer. It's merely a deposit. Frankly, nothing could be further from the truth. Mandatory deposits are here because the voters wanted them, the people of Michigan have spoken, and now the industry is trying to comply in good faith. However, we must realize that mandatory deposits mean additional costs, including warehouse space for the storage of empties, the purchase of recycling equipment, employees to operate the recycling program, the purchase of additional trucks, the cost of drivers for those trucks, and the redemption of out-of-state containers upon which there is no origin of deposit. These are but a few of the additional costs. There are even greater expenses at the brewery and retail levels. We must remember that regardless of the industry, it's an economic fact of life that additional costs ultimately will be borne by the consumer in one form or another. It is with this thought in mind that we caution against this station's simplistic solution to legislation enacted to provide for the price advertising of beer. We must remember, unlike bread, eggs, and milk, beer consumption will not significantly increase with price advertising. Consequently, large volume stores will be taking customers away from the smaller businesses. In the end, the bigs would have a shared monopoly thereby controlling the beer business, and the consumers, by paying for the cost of additional advertising, would be the losers. This has been a reply for WDIV editorial. This is television station WDIV, Channel 4, owned and operated by Post Newsweek Stations Michigan Incorporated, with studios located at 622 Lafayette Boulevard, Detroit, Michigan. The programs of WDIV, the Post Newsweek Station in Detroit, are intended primarily for home reception and otherwise may not be used without permission from WDIV Television. Have a good night. experience loss of memory, you could be experiencing one of the six warning signs of stroke. See your doctor to learn the other warning signs called the Michigan Heart Association. Music is not for the eyebrow, the lowbrow, the young or the old. Music is for everyone. Music at a special place is the Detroit Community Music School. At the end of this broadcast day, WDIV signs off the air with this inspirational message. WDIV Detroit, wishing you a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.